Hi guys, are you interested in getting a free bat cover with your next bat purchase? Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome to episode number 14 of Bat and Ball Cricket for the 2018-19 Australian Summer. This one is one that I've been meaning to do for a couple of seasons now, but the timing is good. We're looking at what's in my kit bag for this season. Right guys, let's get into this one. Right guys, I've done a full review of this Blue Dog Sports uh, kit bag, so if you want more of a look at it, uh, go and check out one of my videos from, uh, from last year. Guys, I've got the bag set up simulating match day, so this is packed as it would be just as I'm about to head out, to the, head out the door to, uh, to a game's play. So guys, let's get through the bag, looking at the external pockets. Like how I have been using uh, two sets of shoes, so one for batting, one for bowling for the last couple of seasons. So at this end I've got my bowling shoes, or my bowling slash fielding shoes. These are the New Balance 4040s, and these are a number of years old now, and have had a number of repair, repairs, the toe cut out, those kind of things. Um, they're going pretty well, this is probably the final season for them, so I've got the, the pair of these guys in there, as well as a spike key, which will allow me to tighten those. Guys, coming around to the next pocket, I'm quite uh, quite fair with my skin, obviously with the red hair, pale complexion. So this one is my sunscreen, or predominantly my sunscreen's pocket. I've been using this SunSense Sport related uh, SPF 50 plus for the last more than a decade. It was recommended to me by my dermatologist at the time. So I've got that guy. Uh, I've also got uh, a, a stretchy elastic band for warming up. I've got my zinc because my face is quite sensitive and so I find the zinc a bit better on my face as well as then a, a lip balm which uh, I quite often put into, into my pocket while I'm fielding. I've also got then some spare contact lenses. I've been uh, playing cricket in contact lenses for the last, uh, last few years uh, and so I always carry some spare contact lenses to, to games. This next one along, I've been captaining my team for the last two seasons. So this one's predominantly around balls. So two new batch, match balls. Uh, we use the, uh, at my level of cricket, we use the Kookaburra Regulation Rejection. Uh, and you can tell by, uh, there's a cross up near the four-piece scene. So Kookaburra, pretty good, uh, pretty good quality four-piece uh, balls for, for club cricket. So two new of those guys. Uh, a few more first aid supplies in here. So. Uh, some headache tablets, some gastro stop, uh, some eye drops, some heat, uh, some cool spray, and some spare strapping tape in uh, in that one, and then some used match balls. So these are balls that have uh, been used for uh, for match play, but are still in reasonably good nick. We often play uh, our games quite close to game or quite close to waterways or drains or those kind of things. And we can, at times, lose, uh, lose balls, so I do like to keep an assortment of balls. Um, so I've got one here that's 10 overs, one that's basically 20 overs, or two then that are 20 overs old. So that, that gives me a, a bit of a range of balls, as well as I think I had another one here that's more like the 30, 30 over mark. Um, so it gives me a range of balls to be able to kind of pick from if we, if we do happen to, uh, to lose one. And at the, uh, the final pocket here on the back part of the bag, Two things in here. First one of those is the uh, the uh, Eastern uh, catching mitt. Bought this from my local cricket retailer about five, four or five years ago now. Uh, I like carrying this one because it allows you to be able to do a couple of different sets of warm up uh, of warm up drills. So you can have the wicket keeper and the slips fieldsman doing uh, or bowlers doing one uh, drill, and then you can be using the uh, the actual uh, baseball glove and uh, those other guys not involved in that other, other drill. Uh, so you, you're maximising your warm-ups or, or your, your fielding drills. The other one is, uh, I've gone to two sets of Oakley. So these are the Oakley Jade Iridium. So Oakley, uh, Oakley Radar Lock Jade Iridium. Uh, and so that's a, a, just a green coloured lens. This is my general lens that I've been wearing now. Uh, I use that for driving to and from cricket and in and around uh, games. All right guys, jumping inside. Now, for those of you that have watched this What's In My Kit Bag channel for a little while, uh, I was keeping my target stump on the outside of my bag, but I think I've actually moved it inside the bag, because there isn't a bat sleeve on the outside, and I think it actually comes with a, a better solution anyway. So, uh, I'm pretty handy with a sewing machine, so I have actually just made a bag for the target stump. And I've also, it's got a, I've put a padded insert in the end, because this guy has 
uh, a metal uh, plate at the end, and that was actually putting holes in my kit bag anyway. So to, uh, to move that guy from that external pocket to inside the bag with a padded sleeve, originally I had it in a bat sleeve, and this season I've moved it to, uh, to, its special, uh, to a special bag. Moving it inside the bag is actually better for protection of my kit. Alright guys, um, scorer satchel, as I mentioned, I've have been captaining, so I also like taking care of the, uh, the extra scoring and entering the scores. I often live score as well, so don't have to worry about our batting uh, components, it's just putting in our bowling, so I do look after the scoring as well. Uh, as we go through this top here on top, um, my clothes bag, um, two sets of plain clothes in there, so um, a set of um, creams for batting, a set of creams for bowling, the ones for batting I leave a little bit longer. Uh, two sh plain shirts, so that's one short sleeve, one long sleeve. I exclusively field in a short sleeve shirt, and some of the time I bat in a, in a long sleeve shirt, depending on the UV uh, conditions. If it's really, really high, or it's a little bit cooler, I'll, uh, I'm, I some of the time will bat in a, uh, in a short sleeve shirt. Oh, sorry, we'll back in a long sleeve shirt. I've also got uh, my plain socks, as well as then sweatbands and those kind of things in there as well. Uh, I like carrying a towel to cricket, and so that's whether or not uh, you might get some wet weather, uh, or you might just be hot and sweaty, and it just gives you an opportunity to wipe all that sweat off you and just feel a little bit, a little bit fresher. So I do have that guy in there as well. Um, still in the cooler start to the season, so I do have my um, Grey Nichols Cream uh, cricketing vest. And uh, being a bowler and starting to get on a little bit in, uh, or, or well, well into my thirties now, uh, that guy is quite important to making sure that I am staying warm between between overs towards the end of the day. Uh, I have had a, a hat bag for the last couple of years where my hats go into, and at the moment I've just got my uh, my Greg Chapel um, floppy hat. I pretty much exclusively field in a uh, in a floppy hat. It's only if it's extremely windy or really, really late in the day, that some of the time I will, uh, I will field in my club cabin. A uh, couple of other bits and pieces around here, guys. Um, allowing us to warm up on match days. We do have a, a, ball, uh, a ball bag there with some old cricket balls in, as well as then some, uh, some gold and royal blue markers. Great for setting up uh, in a pre-game uh, kind of drills or matches or warm up games, so I've got those in there as well. As I mentioned, um, two sets of Oakleys, so this is where the match Oakleys live, and in here are the cricket specific lens, and so you can see those with more of a red tinge to the to the lens, and they also come with the uh, the actual low light lens, so that's a, a persimmon lens. So that's where the uh, the Oakleys are in there. Well, guys, so it's only pretty much the uh, the actual batting gear left in here now. So let's go from head to toe. Uh, so I've made myself a specialty helmet bag. The Shrey one wore out, so I do have uh, my Shrey ProGuard titanium uh, customized helmet in there. My batting gloves and a review video of these guys to come in the coming weeks. We've got the B3 traditional style batting gloves. So these are the new version that were released for the 2018 English County season, but uh, predominantly being sold next season, 2019. So they're B3 in the traditional style gloves. So uh, a sausage finger and two pairs of those. One set pretty much for uh, training and the other set for match. In and around the mid part of my body, I uh, do have my, uh, my Shock Doctor uh, Titanium uh, Groin Protector. So I'll just show you that one very quickly. So I've got him in a Grey Nichols jock strap, And I had uh, a bit of money left over from a gift certificate. And so I did uh, invest in the Shock Doctor Titanium. It is quite a bit heavier to your normal plastic um, protectors. But I've been using this guy now for uh, about nine months. And you do acclimatise, you, you do get used to that extra extra weight. Now I don't actually notice it as extra, you know, extra weight. And of course, there yeah, my uh, thigh pad combo in and out of thigh pad combo in there. Coming down the legs, we've got the uh, the batting pads. These are the B3 uh, three stripe batting pads. B3 basically only have one set of batting pads, and uh, that the reason for that is they do match the or they set them with nice neutral colour schemes 
to match their bat colours. So their bats come with any about 15 or 16 different colour uh, schemes, and so their pads are nice and nice and neutral. And they have one set of adult pads that are uh, absolutely first class quality. So uh, full review of uh, of these guys coming in the very near future as well. Right out, right down to the feet now, guys. I've done a review of these video uh, of these guys this season already. The uh, the Asics uh, 300 not out. These are more of the bowling or rounder shoes, but I'm using them as a batting shoe. I've got those uh, configured as a uh, as a half spike. So we've got the uh, uh, golf conversion studs on the on the heel, and I've got Champ Mesh studs in the front. Of course, a couple of bits and pieces in the bottom of the bag here. We've got a, uh, a gripping cone and some spare grips. It's just in case you actually have a blowout on game day, so quite important to uh, to be able to uh, to swap out a bat grip. We've got my number two bat. Uh, this one is the uh, the Aldred Sovereign Gold. And my number one bat, uh, continuing on for this season, which I have just done a full review or video of. This was a B3 Bespoke. Uh, cricket bat. So guys, I have done a full review video of this guy as well as a refurbishment this year. Uh, this has been my main match bat for the last two or three seasons and as you can see there's uh, uh, starting to get with a bit of fibre tape on there but uh, this is the, the best bat that I've ever had so I am looking after it quite well. Guys, the uh, the guys at B3 have kindly, provide, have kindly offered a uh, viewers of bat and ball cricket a discount option so uh, if you go and check down in the description section here, they'll let you know how to take advantage of that. So uh, what they guys of B3 have kindly provided are for viewers of bat and ball cricket that uh, make a bat purchase with the guys at B3, by following that particular discount piece, you'll get a blade cover. So this is the B3 bat, padded bat cover, really high quality bat covers that uh, you'll actually receive for free with unit bet next bat purchase. So uh, check the description section down below to take advantage of that uh, that free back cover with your next back purchase. Right guys, so that concludes my What's In My Kit Bag video for 2018-19. If you do have any questions of any of the gear that you've seen, please don't hesitate in dropping those down into the, uh, into the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer those as best I can. Still another couple of videos to come in this series, so stay tuned for those. This is Clinch for Bad Ball Cricket, we'll catch you again really soon.